Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Jonathan Madrid, aka Young Jesse. You guys can go follow me wherever, I don't care. But uh, yeah, so anyways, today I'm gonna be going over uh, the reason why you aren't making any sales. It's really big, cause um, a lot of people ask me, John, you know, I have my Shopify store, I did this and that, but I'm not creating any sales. You know, I'm having, tra I'm getting traffic to my store, but I'm not, you know, creating sales. So, that so in this video, I'm just gonna be teaching you guys, you know, why you guys aren't making any sales. Or So basically, I have a list of topics that I'm going to be going over. Uh, your store, test, products, uh, contact, info, and compare, and then the next page uh, is the really important stuff. Uh, but yeah, so basically, your store, so what does that mean? Uh, so basically, this means, you know, uh, when creating your store, you want to make it look, you know, professional and stuff like that, uh, because, you know, that could be another reason why you guys aren't getting any sales, is because maybe your store doesn't look professional. Uh, maybe you guys, you know, just, you know, rush through your store and it just looks like crap. So you guys want to make sure you guys spend a lot of time, you know, make sure that your store looks professional so you guys can get those sales that you want. Um, so yeah, I think I went over that in the last video, but the, so the second topic I want to go over is testing So you guys might be promoting a product and uh, you might think it's good, uh, but it's not so um, so testing This is where testing comes in handy. So a lot of people ask me, you know, John Do you go straight into a niche store or go straight into a general store? I uh, usually I start with the general store and I test a whole bunch of products and I see you know Which product does the best and then I niche down on basically, you know that product that's getting sales and that's converting um, And stuff like that. So make sure you guys test products the way I test products is usually do you know Facebook ads, you know like I said in the last video, seven days for five dollars each day, and I just see you know if it converts and stuff like that. Uh, so testing is really big, you know, when creating sales because you want to find that right product. You know, uh, you don't want to be promoting a crappy product because if you promote crappy products, you're not going to get any sales at all. So next topic is products. So basically, our products you want to make sure you have the right product. This basically falls under the testing because you want to make sure that you have the right products, and to do so, you have to make sure that you're testing. Um, or also, you know, when finding the right product, uh, there's a lot of ways to do it. So one of the ways I like to do it, you know, scrolling down my Instagram feed, there's a lot of people you know doing Instagram ads if I see a product on there that I like personally that someone else is promoting um, I'll go ahead and you know take that product and you know promote it myself test it and see if it works and if it works then I put a lot of money into it another way I'm finding you know products that sell is going on like big Instagram pages like meme pages and stuff like that and uh, if they're posting you know the same picture you know every single day uh, that means you know that person who's giving them the money is making a lot of money off of them because they're not gonna be uh, giving an influencer money if they're not gonna be making any money so yeah so I go ahead and take their product because of course they're doing something right of course they're making money and that's why they keep putting in more money into that influencer ad uh, to promote their products so I take you know people's products don't take it personal uh, you know it's money so when it comes down to business uh, it doesn't matter you know you can take someone else's product and you can even market it better than them and make more money than they are that's another way you know to make sales is actually you know taking products from you know your sources whether it's Instagram whether it's Facebook and stuff like that uh, just use you know whatever you have in front of you you know to take advantage of it another another uh, big role that plays in making sales is contact information so this might sound weird but it comes it's a really big deal uh, when having your store because you know when someone goes on your site you want to make sure that they trust you you know trust is a really big role uh, when it comes you know uh, a person buying a product from your site because they want to make sure that they can trust you they want to make sure that if a product is you know a bad product that they're gonna be able to you know refund it and you know contact you so you want to make sure that you have the contact information uh, because you just want to you just want to create you know a trust between the buyer and you and that's really important when it comes to, you know, drop shipping or when it comes to having your own store is uh, definitely, you know, trust. So you want to make sure that they have trust in you. So yeah, so that, that's another uh, topic that's really big when it comes to, you know, creating sales. Um, that one will, you know, cost you a lot of money. If you don't have that on your store, I suggest, you know, adding, you know, contact information on your store so then they can, you know, contact you if anything goes wrong. Because, um, okay, think of it this way. No one's going to buy a product from you if they, you know, can't contact you. No one's going to buy a product from you if they can't reach out to you if something goes wrong. So just make sure you guys have, you know, the contact information and everything like that. What I do usually, so on some of my stores, uh, if I'm not making any sales, I'd like to come compare so what I mean by compare I mean by comparing uh, you know other Shopify stores that are making sales so what do they have that I can put on my store you know to you know boost up my conversion rates to make sales and stuff like that so yeah so I go on their store and I, you know I basically like just kind of critique it in like a good way but also like take information from them and I put it onto my store that way because if they're making sales and that means I'm able to make sales at the same time you don't want to copy you know the same exact store because that wouldn't make any sense you want to make your store original you want to make it to where someone goes on your site and they're like oh crap 
this is a cool site. Like, uh, this is really cool. You know, I'm gonna buy products off of here just because this site is really cool. The site is good looking, it looks professional. They have contact information, they have good products. Um, and yeah, compare other websites to your website so you can take information and put it onto yours. So another thing that falls under products is a sense of urgency. Uh, if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically, you know, urging someone to buy product. And there's apps to do that. So they have, you know, this app called Timer Plus. If you guys don't know what Timer Plus is, it basically goes on each and every product. And there's a timer countdown. So this basically, you know, makes them feel like they have to buy the product now because the time will be at five minutes. So they're like, oh crap, five minutes left. Uh, it's going to be sold out. I have to get my product now. So Timer Plus is a good app to use to make your buyers actually buy stuff. So you want to have a sense of urgency. Another way of doing this is um, a limited time offer. So what is what is limited time offer? It's basically, uh, so when you're creating an ad and in that caption, you want to put limited time because this way they feel like, okay, uh, crap, limited time. Um, this is the only, you know, once in a lifetime chance I can get this product. You know, I'm going to get it now. So yeah, so limited time is a sense of urgency, you know, it makes them want to buy that product now and that's what you want. You want them to get on your site, you know, feel like they have to buy a product as fast as they can, you know, check out so you guys can get that first sell or you guys can get more sales. I'll put some apps below um, that are very good in you know, making people buy your product. There's Timer Plus, uh, there's Conversion Booster. There's so many more um, apps out there that you can use to make people buy products. All right, so another reason why you guys aren't getting any sales could be, you know, maybe your audience isn't the right audience. So what I mean by that, if you're promoting like a hat or something, you would want to promote it on, you know, a fashion page. It would make no sense at all to promote it on a dog and cat page because that audience doesn't relate to the niche that you're promoting. So, um, yeah, so make sure you guys have, you know, the right audience. Make sure that whatever you, whatever product that you're promoting, it's related to, you know, the influencer that you're getting a shout out on or getting a promo on. All right, so I have two more um, topics to go over. Uh, the next one one is quality images so what I mean by that you guys want to make sure you have very good pictures on your website you want to make sure that you have very good pictures on your products because um, a lot of people you know when they go on the website you see a lot of crappy pictures and you're like what the heck this you know this website does not look good this this website is not even a website you know it doesn't look good. I'm not gonna buy anything from it so you want to make sure uh, this is where it kind of falls under you know your store it kind of falls under you know making your store look professional uh, so yeah so you guys want to make sure that you guys have quality pictures um, for your products, you want to make sure you guys have quality pictures uh, for your store in general. When you guys have, you know, when you guys are promoting a product, you guys want to make sure that you guys take the best photos ever. You guys want to make sure that you guys can get that product in hand, you know, make a little cool promo video, make a cool um, picture, you know, go outside, you know, have fun, take good pictures, take good videos of that product that you're promoting. Um, that way it looks professional. That way um, it looks good when, you know, the viewer is scrolling down their Instagram page and they see this ad. You want to make it to where it grabs their attention. So make a video that grabs their attention make take a picture that grabs their attention so you know when they're scrolling down that feed it pops out to them you're like yo what is this you know this is really cool you know I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna buy it so you want to make sure you guys if you guys can at least try to get the product in hand you know make some cool videos take some cool pictures and uh, go ahead and promote it that's another way that you guys can boost your sales and create more sales just because it makes your, your store professional it makes it look legit Okay guys, as you guys can see, very important. I actually have two more topics. I know I said in the last one, I said I have two more uh, topics to go over, but I actually have two more. Uh, so this one, this one falls under the product category. Uh, it's basically description. That's what happens when you write too fast. Description. So basically, uh, what I mean by description, you guys want to make sure that you guys have very descriptive um, descriptions. Because, you know, if you're a buyer and you're looking on the website and uh, you like a product and you click on it and it just says ring. You're gonna be like, what the heck? Uh, I need more. I need more information. So you want to make sure you have enough. You want to make sure that you have a lot of information about that product. So you want to make sure that your descriptions are good. You want to make sure that they're very descriptive. Go in detail about the product. Go in detail, you know, uh, what the product is. So a description is very big too. You guys can lose a lot of sales for not having a descriptive description. So description also is very important. Uh, the next thing I want to go over that is very important. I think this is the main thing that people, you know, mess up on is pricing. So pricing. Yeah, so a lot of people mess up on pricing. The reason why is because, you know, when you create your store, you feel like you're in control. You feel like you can price whatever you want for each and every product. You're wrong. You know, you can't, I mean, you could price uh, whatever you want for each and every product, but it's not the right thing to do. Um, you want to make sure that your price is reasonable. You know, you want to do some product research uh, when you guys, you know, are finding, you know, the right price to price your item. Uh, just because, you know, you search up, for example, so you search up hat. Uh, this hat is $3 on AliExpress, but in real life, this hat would be like 20 bucks. 
So, you know, for pricing, you know, I search up the hat and I'm like, okay, this, this hat is 20 bucks. I'm gonna sell it for a little bit cheaper. So I'm gonna do 1999, I'm gonna do 1893. So yeah, so make sure your pricing is right because if you're pricing way too high, no one's gonna buy anything. If you price it way too low, no one's gonna buy anything. The reason why, if you price it too high, of course, you know, people don't wanna spend that amount of money. So if I were to sell this hat for 50 bucks, no one would buy it. Uh, because one, it's not name brand. Two, uh, you know, it's just a normal hat. For them to buy, you know, a high ticket item, the item has to be very good. The item has to be very good quality. It has to have a descriptive description about what it is and how it works. And yeah, so if the product is too low, they're gonna feel like, oh, this is cheap. I'm not gonna buy it. Like, this is way too cheap. Is this hat $3? Uh, you might get some sales, but you're not going to get as many sales as you would because you're going to be like, oh, it's bad quality, uh, it's horrible stitching, um, you know, it's probably going to come in horrible packaging, uh, it's just too cheap, you know, I'm not going to buy it just because it's too cheap. You want to make sure that you guys price your product at the right price. You want to make sure that your price is reasonable. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. I hope this video, you know, helped you just a little bit, and if it did help you a little bit, uh, go ahead and leave a like and comment and say, uh, this helped me, uh, you know, blah, 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 and, you know, why not, you know, just subscribe and why not you know just subscribe you know help me i'm gonna be posting 90 days i'm gonna be posting for 90 days straight every single day uh fire content for you guys you know i'm trying to put out as much value as i can you know so you guys can you know start making sales so you guys can start making you know, large amounts of money on drop shipping and on on drop shipping and on shopify uh but yeah so if this so yeah if this video helped you guys um so yeah, if this video helped you guys, you know, if you found, you know, the solution and why you guys aren't making as many sales or why you guys are getting traffic to your store and not making any sales, go ahead and comment below, this helped. So uh, yeah, comment this helped right here and um, I'll go ahead and make more videos like this. I'll go ahead and, you know, uh, make more videos in general. But yeah, so comment below what video you guys want me to do next. Go ahead and leave a big thumbs up on this video. Yeah, so go ahead and, you know, drop a comment what video you guys want me to do next. Leave a thumbs up and please guys help me reach 10,000 subscribers. I'm gonna try to reach 10,000 subscribers in uh, I think 25 or 30 days. So if, you, if we can do that, that would be awesome. So yeah, with that being said, uh, the 16 year old entrepreneur is out. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.